Welcome back to the channel everyone and a massive happy new year. It's 2023 and we're back and ready to bring you all things Phoenix. In this week's video we're going to be looking at a torch that came out at the tail end of last year but has only reached us here in the UK recently. It's this, the WF26R. The WF26R is a workplace flashlight designed to be fitted in a working environment that can reach anything from a warehouse, a building site, security, through to mobile scenarios, such as on rescue vehicles. This light is a replacement from the RC20, which had the same cradle charging system. The one downside with the RC20 was the cradle was the only way to charge the unit. It meant always having to have the cradle with you. Thankfully, the WF26R has done away with this, and we'll explain more later in the video. So let's go ahead and have a closer look. Starting off with the head. It's a very robust looking head and bezel, with these brick cannulations making it a sturdy unit, perfect for working environments. We have a deep curved reflector offering a respectable throw distance. Light is generated by the SST70XW LED, a quad die domed LED. On the neck of the light, we have on one side the magnetic charge port, and then on the other side, the battery indicator. This is our standard four status indicator with solid green at 100 to 85%, flashing green at 80 to 50%, solid red at 50 to 25%, and flashing red the final 25%. By that time, it will have downshifted to its lowest mode. We then have the body tube with this strong grip and one way body clip. Moving to the tail, we have the dual button setup, which we see on many models like the TK16 V2 and PV36R Pro. The whole light feels sturdy and has a nice heft to it. It should be able to stand up to most conditions that you can throw at it. Next, let's move on to power. The RC20 had specialist batteries, which meant you could even set the battery either way around, thanks to its dual polarity. It did mean, however, that you could only use these sort of batteries in the torch. Phoenix have now moved across to standardized batteries with the 21700 5000mAh V2 battery. The battery is supported by a single spring at the tail cap. I think it's quite short, so it may not be the best option if it's subject to recoil or sharp movement. Now charging this light is easy, where well, you have two options, which in theory is actually only one option. Here we have the charging cradle. Now this can be affixed to something, but how, you'll need to figure it out yourself. It has two holes so you can screw it in with the appropriate sized screws to say a wall, or if you are laying it flat, maybe some sort of adhesive pad. Just make sure the little Phoenix logo here is the right way up. To charge the unit, simply clip the light in with the charge plate to the back. Note it will only fit in this way around, hence the orientation of the Phoenix logo. To release, just pull the light away. Now, if you don't want to carry the cradle around with you at all times, Phoenix have devised a way that you can remove the charging unit from the cradle. Just push it in, slide it up and remove. Handy, right? This is magnetic, so it's really easy to charge. To put it back in the cradle, just do the reverse by pushing it in and sliding it down. Also, unlike the previous batteries, you can charge the current ones inside an external charger. This is a great benefit, especially if you're working in places where you need the light constantly, say underground, for example. So let's move on to how to use the light. With the two button operation, we have the on and off switch, and then the functional switch. With the light off, the functional switch also gives you instant strobe. With the on-off switch, a half press will get you momentary, and a full press will turn it on constantly. Using the functional switch, you can rotate through the modes. And then if you hold, you get strobe, and if you click again, you get SOS mode. Moving on to the outputs, we can use the functional switch to switch through the modes. These are eco or low, medium, high, and then turbo. Eco is 30 lumens, medium, 350, high 1000 and then turbo 3000. Eco will reach out to 47 meters and last for around 44 hours. Medium 155 meters and 9 hours. High 264 meters and 2 hours 45. And then finally turbo 450 meters and 2 hours 40. You may ask why high and turbo have similar run times but really different stats. Well if we look at the runtime graph the turbo 3000 lumen setting will step down quickly as the torch heats up rapidly and needs to step down to protect the unit. It then will run slightly below the level the high would run at, giving it a bit more power to run it on a bit longer. You can reuse that 3000 lumen turbo setting once the unit has cooled down, but be aware, this will vastly affect your battery life, so use it sparingly. So dimensions wise, we are looking at a length of 153 millimeters, a head diameter of 34 millimeters, and a body diameter of 25.9 millimeters. 
The weight is 222 grams, including the battery. In the box, we get the torch, the charger cradle, the magnetic charge cable, a lanyard, spare o-ring, and the warranty card and user manual. I've taken the torch outside so we can see the throw beam on it. As you can see, it nicely punches out across the estate. So that's a quick rundown of the Phoenix WF26R. A very practical unit for the working environment or for people who need a very tough torch. What do you think of this light? And do you like the idea of the charger cradle idea? Let us know in the comments. So coming this month, we'll be looking at this, the new Phoenix 2023 catalogue. And we'll be doing that as a live stream. Will you be watching? To make sure you don't miss that, why don't you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon to make sure you're notified when that's coming out. So thanks again for watching, don't forget to like this video, and we'll see you again next time.